Welcome back to part two. Part two, I'm going to discuss how to gain knowledge of soldering parts. So, you can either do this on your own and practice before you get in or while you're in college, do this, or you learn on the job. And if you know how to solder before getting the job, that's going to be a benefit for you. So, while I was in college, I was working on circuit boards, just buying kits from Radio Shack. Radio Shack used to be this place where you can buy circuit board kits and signal them, and it would just be an LED blinking or a timer or a motor spinning or something very basic. You can still buy those kits. You can go on Amazon and buy those. There's there's a, a list of websites you can go and search electronics kits and you can assemble them and some are still surface mount some are still through hole and i noticed now they're starting to get into surface mount which is great because that's what you're going to be dealing with in the future mostly there are some companies that still use through hole components for their power supplies and stuff like that but generally speaking surface mount it's the one you need to start working on your skills and soldering and that sort. There's all kinds of tutorial videos online that you can kind of sit there and watch and guide and so okay, this is what needs to be done and just practice. So when you go and get your job interview and you're going to work for this company and then that's a thing that you want to say that you know how to remove components. You can do component level repair. They don't have to take and train you. That's one thing that they will expedite your knowledge getting into the position that you're doing. If they don't have to train you how to change a part, then they can just spend that other time in training you how to fix whatever equipment that, that you're working on. And don't expect all equipments to be the same. There's going to be hundreds of thousands of different products out there millions of different products out there really so but there are certain package sizes that you can expect to change on a daily basis just like this this chip here it is uh 0.5 millimeter spacing of the pitch so there's, there's a trick to getting that chip off and back on and it's not that hard. If you just use a hot air station, you can also use a soldering iron. It's just all learning how to solder. So if you want to get into your electronics and get into a career, that's another place that you need to learn how to do is soldering. Because they don't teach that. Usually, they don't teach that in school. So, start buying kits online. Buy through hole, buy surface mount. You can buy a surface mount. Um, it'll be a, just a board, and it has different size pads on there. And you can practice. It's got two sides to it. And you can practice soldering that. Might even be a thing that you need to take and shame, and bring that to an interview and say, "Hey, this is what I did. This is what I know how to do." And I might look at the board and go, "Well, dang." He's pretty good. She's pretty good. Let's get him to get her. So, that's my second advice. Is learning how to solder. Please consider subscribing. I'm going to continue on with this series of sharing what I've done to get into this field. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.